What's going on, everybody? This is Tom the eGamer, 575 here, back with another update for the killer clowns from outer space. And today, we'll, we will be meeting the clown. Today, we're gonna talk about our rock stars, the killer clowns, specifically each of the five playable classes which you can pick from are forming a three-player team to hunt the citizens of Crescent, Crescent Cove. Take a look at these glorious bastards in a new video our extremely talented art team made sure to give justice to the good old clowns from the movie, modernizing and enhancing their looks with everything that magic of Unreal Engine can provide. And now let's dive into the details for each class. We will cover the different play styles, abilities, and weapons that clowns possess and how you can utilize them in the game. Every clown is equipped with a ray gun that traps humans into cotton candy cocoons, as well as the signature weapon healing laughter, and the clown jump, which allows aliens to quickly leap to any point on the map that has already been discovered by the clowns. There are also class-specific tricks up their sleeves, different abilities, all inspired by the mischief they caused in the original movie. Tracker, Spiky. Instead, Tracker sp special... Sp Speciality is well tracking. This class, based on Spiky from the film, is not the best at combat. He thrives when looking for tasty humans who are running around the map looting, tooting, sometimes even shooting within the clown team. The tracker provides situational insight and support to his teammates by doing several things. He can shoot humans with the popcorn bazooka, popcorn bits stick to the humans and reveal their position on a map to other clowns or summon the balloon dog that will point towards the nearest survivor if the prey tries to get away tracker will hop into his shiny and of course insured invisible car or chase them on foot being able to vault over obstacles traps the Rudy. Rudy will scare the living crap out of earthlings and make sure they always feel at least a little bit nervous while scouting for valuables or trying to escape the town. He can't fight that well, but he makes up for this weakness by actively scheming and placing traps. Trapster's jawbreaker mace is bursting into popcorn explosion on contact, allowing other clowns to see attack humans through nearby walls. He can sense human traps and even has an arsenal of his own. The first, the first is the baby clown, an ugly larvae looking buddy who springs up and latches to the victim holding him down. Come get your sweet, nutritious human. The other trap is the popcorn mine. C4 those meat bags to your heart's content, to your heart's content, marking those within the blast radius with the same wall hack vision debuff as the mace. The tank Chubby, in fact, he is actually Chubby from the movie. This is this absolute unit of a clown is slow, but also tough as hell. If he catches you, you're probably mashed potatoes. His extendable jawbreaker is the tank's only ranged weapon. Whip this alien flail around or charge it up for more reach and power, causing destruction to anyone who dares to try and catch it with their face. His signature abilities are Sticky Bash and Rage Rush. With the powerful downward strike, the clown summons a carpet of cotton candy that traps anyone caught within it or goes rampage mode, charging into his enemies while busting through obstacles and taking less damage from firearms. Remember his cocoon straw scene from the movie. If you know, you know. Chubby can stick a straw into any cotton cocoon, 
slurp some energizing human intestines and gain a limited time movement speed buff. Yummy. Please say hi to Jumbo. He is the only alien invader that can use the clown jump to leap into unexplored territory, which for other clowns is covered with fog on the overhead map. Pretty handy, right? Scout is the ultimate aggressive reconnaissance maestro, specializing not only in scouting, but also in close range combat and stealth. He lacks range and pure damage, but can strategically take humans out and control the flow of the whole battle. If you're skilled enough, silently draw the humans closer with hypnotic lure and smash them with the mallet or channel your inner ship shinobi with a lackey swap and instantly substitute yourself with a nearby AI controlled minion to quickly change your position while evading or attacking survivors. Let's get ready to rumble because Shorty is not messing around. Want him to knock your block off, then come closer and kiss his boxing glove. Shorty does not give a damn, he just wants to fight someone. He trained his whole life to invade a small town in the United States and on April 1st, 1988, his dreams came true. His melee prowess and agility make him a formidable yet loud opponent and he cannot detect humans. He is here to fight. Prop hunt connoisseurs will enjoy playing as shorty because his ability to disguise himself as a pizza box you won't believe it but this ability is called pizza box <laughs> did that pizza box just move anyway shorty will make you feel like prey haha ha. here's some reference to another game where you can turn into objects but there's more fighter has a speedy tricycle which unlike trackers invisible car can be used indoors Pedal your way to victory and hit the brakes to jump off the bicycle and crash into your enemies. Well, that's an update on the clowns from the Killer Clowns from Outer Space game. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel. If you haven't seen any more videos from Killer Clowns from Outer Space, check out the video that's coming up now.